Oh, yeah. <laughs> what we got? Spears, Spears. Oh, yes. EMB. Yep. All right. So we got the infamous, famous, iconic Ikhwa. Nguni Zulu Spear. Made famous by uh, legendary King Shaka. Yes. Uh, so we know the story of how uh, Shaka uh, was part of the military reforms in uh, uh, South Africa and amongst the Zulus, created the, uh, the, the battle formation that utilizes the, the bull's horns, as they refer to. I don't know the term in, in Guni, so I'm not going to even butcher it. But that's basically the, the, basis, pre the basic premise was encircling with the bull's horns. Um, one of the reforms that uh, Shaka is accredited to doing is uh, creating a close quarter spear uh, uh, that could be used in conjunction with the larger shields. And we've all heard this story. We know that we're very familiar with this. So this is our, our prototype version of that. Um, so we know definitely this blade will be able to pierce. The question though, the question that we're trying to answer is... Does it cut, Doug? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Right. All right. So, let's see what we got here. It's actually the shaft is long enough. I can put both hands on. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, it cuts. Oh, it cuts. Like the Dickens. Yes. The Dickens. damn Dickens, baby. Damn Dickens. Yes. Yep. So, yep. we hope y'all had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. We back in the shop. Yep. Um, these are available for pre-order. That's right. Uh, this is almost out of prototype phase. So that's 1095 steel with the hickory handle and the jute epoxy on that joint. Trying to trying to marry some um, some 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 old traditional stuff with some some new newish tech yep. you know what i'm saying but uh yeah street forge armor that's right the mind stiff yep stay tuned we out